This year, Manama Dialogue is taking place uh, amidst all uh, different events uh, that are happening in the Euro-Atlantic security area. We have seen the Lisbon Summit of NATO. Uh, in a few days, on the 1st and 2nd of December, there will be the Summit of OSCE, and later there will be a number of uh, uh, summits uh, of the European Union. Uh, and I think all of that is very relevant for the uh, wider Middle East and for, for Gulf uh, and for regional security overall. Um, and it is relevant uh, not, not the least because the role of Russia is changing uh, in the global international order. It is changing in Europe. It is changing in relationship with the United States. But it's also changing in the Middle East where Russia is emerging once again as a, a in, in important regional pl player with its interests as a country which is increasingly involved both in the dialogue on regional security issues uh, with its uh, vote within the UN on the new uh, resolution on Iran, uh, its change in policy in Iran. Um, it's also increasing activism in relationship to the Middle East peace process uh, and the number of events in Central Asia and, uh, and in Afghanistan helping to um, develop a regional approach to the sustainable security uh, of Afghanistan. And therefore, we are very excited that uh, today uh, uh, we will have a number of uh, Russian participants, senior Russian participants, coming to Manama to talk about Russian policy, to uh, outline Russia's perspectives on regional issues uh, from conflict in Yemen uh, to developments in the regional security architecture, and of course to show uh, where Russia's interests lie in the region.